Hello, welcome. I'm Jody. This is chair yoga. Make sure you have a good sturdy chair. Shoes are on. You have a good quiet space, hopefully. Sit back in your chair with me. Feet flat on the floor. Let's find our good posture to start with. And we'll do some deep breathing. We'll do some good stretching exercises as well as balance exercises. Nothing too difficult, but it's all your own level and you can change things as we go if you need to. Okay? So relax. Let's get in the mood. Hands are placed down on your thighs. I want you to rise up tall. You just start with a couple shoulder rolls. I just want you to release any tension there. Right behind you, your shoulders. Just roll them up and back and down. So we want to start by getting ourselves in that mode where we're thinking about our bodies. We're kind of staying in the present moment. We're not thinking about things that already happened or things that are going to happen in the day. None of that matters right now. I want you to just think about your body right now. So some deep breathing is going to help, help us clear our minds. So we're always going to start with that. So place those shoulders down and back and draw up tall through the spine. You have this good posture. And I want you to relax your hands and feet, relax your arms and legs, relax your facial muscles, your jaw especially. So our lips are closed, jaws unhinged. You can close your eyes or kind of gaze down to the floor so that you're not distracted. You don't need to look at me right now or the screen. Make sure that there are no distractions in your room. If you have you hear a TV from the other room, maybe you need to close the door. Maybe you need to put a dog away. You can always pause the video and do that right now. You make sure you're ready. You can enjoy your practice. So here we are, breathing through our noses, calming the body. I want you to feel every inhale and exhale. I want you to notice your rib cage rise and fall, but slowly. As you inhale through your nose, your chest lifts. You breathe in until your, your lungs are completely full and then slowly exhale and your lungs come back down. Your rib cage comes back down into place. So practicing these long, slow breaths at your own pace. If you want to add in a hand movement to match your breath, we're going to do a carrying breath hand movement. So right palm is up. As we extend, we inhale slowly. As we exhale, we cross to tap the opposite shoulder. We inhale to outstretch again and exhale, placing the hand back down on your lap. And next breath, inhale the other hand forward, palm up. Exhale, coming to the opposite shoulder. Inhale, extend gently, and exhale, let it fall down. Continue that with your own breath. Slower the better. Gentle movements. It's natural to have this kind of pause between each inhale and exhale. Not being forceful, making sure to really exhale fully each time. If you don't exhale fully, then we can't inhale fully next time. So concentrate more so on the exhale. Do one or two more, whatever makes you feel even. No rush. Once you've finished, your hands are in your lap. I want 
want you to start shrugging your shoulders when you're ready. Follow your breath. As you inhale, you shrug those shoulders up towards your ears. And as you exhale, you push your shoulder blades down your back. Exaggerating that shrug. One more. Wonderful. I want you to scooch forward in your chair. So you're sitting kind of at the edge of your chair and widen your feet so they're flat on the floor. So you have this good posture, sitting upright. I'm gonna show you from the side, stay there. I just want you to see it. This is what it looks like up tall. We are not rounded, we're not relaxed. We're using our muscles in our abdominals and our back to support us to stay really tall through the spine right now. And throughout most of class, I want you to stay tall through the spine and I will remind you over and over and over. Promise. All right, let's take the palms up to the side. I want you to squeeze your elbows behind your back like you're trying to make them touch. And then I want you to lengthen out like you're trying to reach the sides of the room. So just that movement right there. Now let's add in the breath. We inhale as we outstretch. We exhale, pulling the elbows together. Lengthening and squeezing. So we're gonna feel our shoulders and, and upper back muscles working, especially on that squeeze. And that's, those are the muscles that we're warming up right now. And actually strengthening just with that contraction. And as we do these repetitive movements over and over, you'll, you'll feel those muscles more and more, and I want you to just notice them, unless it becomes painful, and that's where you stop and say, okay, that's enough for me for now, or maybe that's not good for my shoulder, and you're going to do something else, or just take some deep breaths and wait for us to move on. Always paying attention to your body, and that's what this practice is all about. Being able to better care for your own body, knowing when to push yourself, knowing when to stop. All right, staying outstretched here. Reach, 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 and you're tall. And then bring the palms in towards each other, and then push the palms out. So this is gonna wake up our forearms and wrists. I want you to feel like you're in water, and you have this tension. You're pushing inward, and you're pushing outward on that water. So you're actually creating that tension and you'll feel it more through your arms like you're actually pushing water. You have that resistance. You create it. It's amazing how this can, can warm you up. Just this little movement here. I'm feeling, I'm feeling hot. <laughs> Turn up the AC. We're gonna bring our palms all the way together. Sitting here for a moment. We're gonna go ahead and stand up. Are you ready? We're trying not to use our hands on the chair. We're trying to use our leg muscles just to rise out of that chair to a stand. I'm gonna back up just a touch. You stay right in front of your chair. I want you to be able to see me fully. As we stand really close in front of the chair, so that if you were to sit back, the chair's right there, you'd be sitting in it. So positioning yourself with feet under your hips. Again, you can be wider if you need the support, if that's better for you. That's where you're at, that's fine. All right, we're gonna practice that flowing chair pose. Just keeping our hands here in prayer. We inhale. And we exhale to sit back over the chair and inhale up again. So we're not taking quite as deep, full breaths now, moving a little bit quicker as we just warm th up through the legs. We're gonna change our arm movement. So let those arms come down. And as you sit back, you're gonna just lift the arms and then let them flow back down. Stay right where you're at, flowing through your chair. I wanna show you the side of you of what it looks like. I want you to sit back through your heels. So your body weight is all in your heels, not your toes at all. And it's gonna make you feel like you might tip back, like you might lose your balance and go back. But that is why the chair is there, it'll catch you. 
And the more you do this, the more you practice, you'll, you'll find that balance. You'll find the strength in your legs. Now we're not shrugging our shoulders here, we're keeping them down as we just float the arms forward. It's kind of our counterbalance and it helps us with this chair posture that we're sitting back into. I want you to find your best posture possible. When you come up, you are standing super tall with your head held high like you're proud and your chest is puffed out, showing, showing it. And yes, our legs are feeling tired. One more, if you're still with me. And then I want you to sit back in your chair. So I'm facing you still, here we go. I want you to sit at the edge of your chair again, but grab a hold of your right leg and let's just rotate the ankles. As we started warming up through the legs, I just wanna make sure your ankles are, are ready for this. Well, as we do more standing postures, nice big circle, supporting that leg, kind of keeping your shoulders pulled back and reverse that direction. Just notice each, each muscle group as we do different exercises. Notice how it feels through the ligaments and tendons that we're moving around. Just learn more about your body the more that you take notice. Point the toes down, flex the toes up, and you're gonna feel your, your shins, your muscles here, right in front. Your calves, you know, we use those a lot. You probably won't feel them too much, but these muscles here, we don't use as much. So we're strengthening just by pointing down and flexing up. And it's amazing, it doesn't take many. I'm feeling like, wow, your leg's hot, I'm sweating. <laughs> Set it down, let's go for the other one. It's amazing. Sit back, roll the ankle around. Find that range so that you're making this really large circle, you're drawing it with your toe. Go the other direction. All right, let's point and flex. Use those muscles here in our lower leg. Point down, flex up, exaggerate it. I want you to feel it. Now you're not leaning forward, right? You're pulling those shoulders back. You leaned back slightly. You feel it yet? Good enough? All right, sitting up tall. I want you to alternate one leg and the other, keeping my knee bent. I am not moving my foot at all. I am moving through my hips, and I want you to, to feel that in your hips as you open and close at the hip joint. Don't reach through your foot. That's not the idea is to reach as far as you can to the side. I want you to relax your foot completely. It's not moving, it's not turning. It's just move, going along for the ride. Let's see your knee move out. Maybe a little further out to the side as your hips get a little warmer. Just a little bit. Never forcing anything, but with these repetitive movements, hopefully you find more flexibility as we go and you're able to increase that range of motion as you practice these different movements. All right, so we're gonna keep that right leg up to the side, knees bent, Ankles right under the knee, the other one's forward. We're gonna take that right palm out to the side and lean and then just up tall. Lean and up tall. You should feel good and stable because your legs are, are wide, even though you're on the edge of your chair here. Reach up tall, so lean up to the ceiling. Reach for it, up, find the length, and feel that stretch along the left side of your body as you reach over to the side wall. If this is too much on your shoulder, you don't have to do the huge reach. I just want you to lean through the body. I'm 
can feel it in your hip too as well. Okay, so bring that leg back in and we take this one out to the side. So we have this like almost 90 degrees in our legs here as we go the other direction. Over to the side, oh, feel maybe stiff at first. Let's, let's work through that stiffness. And reach up tall, lean, reach up tall. Little adjustments matter. If it feels funny here or there, you feel like you're gonna cramp up somewhere, adjust just a little bit. You just might be a little out of alignment. Something you kind of figure out with your own body because we all have different bodies, all different shapes and sizes. It's not gonna look exactly the same on, for you as it does for me. Remembering, reach up to the ceiling. Couple more. And last one there. Bring it down, bring the leg back. Oh, I want you to reach back, open the chest. Maybe you can grab the back of your chair, depends on your chair here. As you push the chest forward, stay right there. Since I'm not with you, I wanna make sure you know what we're doing here. Pushing the chest forward, pulling the shoulders back, and lifting the chin up towards the ceiling. Take a couple deep breaths as we just sit here. Notice your chest really rise on the inhale, fall on the exhale. One more deep breath. Wonderful, let it out. Bring those hands back to your thighs. Still facing forward with you, right? Right. Let's work on some standing poses. Rise up with me and come on out to the side of your chair with me so that you're on your mirror, you're on the right side of your chair and your right leg is, is out here ready to move. And your left hand is here, it can grab the back of your chair. Make sure you have a good sturdy chair that you can rely on. I'm counting on you. <laughs> I'm not there to catch you. Your chair, make sure it is in a good space where it can touch you, you can grab a hold of it. Because yes, we work on balance. But I want you to feel confident, so stand close to that chair where you always can hold it if you need to. As we start some calf raises, I want you to set your feet actually a little bit plie, so your toes are turned out and your heels are a little bit closer to each other. As we feel like dancers, and we lift those heels and lower down with grace, of course, Hands on the hips, of course, one can always be on the chair, but when you're ready to challenge yourself and take that hand off, do so, and know that you can always replace it if you need to. I have a squeaky floor right here. It's on the spot where it squeaks. <laughs> Good, one more. Oh, feeling that in the lower legs again. Okay, standing in the same place, but let's transfer all of our body weight. This is your left leg that has your body weight. Standing tall. So we're gonna do a knee lift and a, a low kick out. Don't be scared. Low, keep it low. Lift the knee, just start with that and tap down. I'm going to show you this, this lower option where you're just maybe barely lifting the toes off the floor, you're putting it back down. You can stay there if this is your, where you're at today, fine. I want you to do it with control. So if this is really challenging to do with control, stay here, don't add the low kick. If you're ready for more, you can lift, point your toe out, and then tap down. So lift, extend bend, tap. Move at your own pace. I want you breathing. Find a good focal point on the floor ahead of you so you can keep your head up high. You don't have to look at me. You know what you're doing. You're either just doing the knee lift or you're doing the low kick. Wherever you can stay in control and be positive and keep that balance and breathe. No holding your breath, not allowed right here. And that's a tough one, so 
We're done with it. Good. Take the weight off that left ankle and rotate it a little bit. Relieve that tension. Good. Oh, wonderful. I feel the need to do the same thing on the other side. Right now, I'm getting out of, out of the way. Even it out. Standing close to your chair. Let's see how your balance is over here. Actually, let's do some calf raises. Let's do the exact same thing. Toes turned out, heels closer together. Let's find our, our heel lifts. Found another squeaky spot on my floor. Evidently, I have more than I thought. <laughs> nope, I'm off of it, good. No distractions, right? <laughs> it's the little things that, that get you. All right, so just lifting the heels, bring them back down slowly to the floor. Find your breath. Breathing through your nose throughout class if possible. Oh, that's getting tiring. Okay, enough. So now let's work on the balance. Body weight's on the, your right leg. Hand close to the chair or on the chair. As we just have the left foot barely on the floor, and we start that slight lift. And remember that you don't have to add in the kick at all. You can continue just that slow lift and tap. If you want to add on the low kick, try to keep your toe pointed if you can. Lift, extend, bend, and tap. Again, you don't have to move exactly with me. You go at your own pace with what's doable for you today. You might feel that other leg, that foot, and that ankle kind of repositioning itself to try to keep balance normal. <laughs> Are you still with me? One more. Oh good. Oh wonderful. Oh, you want it. Oh, take the ankle around in a circle. Wonderful. Good. My dog loves to just lay here and, and watch <laughs> my videos. That's funny. All right, let's go on to a down dog. Behind your chair, I'm just scooching a little bit so I have room. Hands on the back of the chair, and we're gonna keep, everyone's gonna keep their hands on the back of the chair. As we step back, if you're not sure what the down dog is, you don't have to move your chair. I just am moving it to give you this view and you can see what I'm doing. Here's the down dog position. So as you get into this, make sure you step your feet wide. You can press your chest down a little lower, but keep your head up a bit so you're looking out under your chair. So I don't want you looking at your feet because then your head's gonna drop low. I don't want you to do that. Pedal your heels, please. Oh, let's lengthen the calf muscles and hamstrings, which are nice strong muscles we use all the time. This is gonna help lengthen them out. Make sure your feet are wide enough that you're real stable here. All right, step back up to your chair. I'm with you again. Okay, let's do a warrior two pose. So I'm very close to the back of my chair. As I widen my feet, I can use my hands on the back of the chair to get my feet real wide into the position I want as I turn my right foot out to the side and my right knee. Everything else stays towards my chair. My hips are towards my chair, my shoulders. This is warrior two as we bend this knee out to the side. And that's it, the other leg stays straight. I am just going to move this. I want you to keep your chair there. I want you to see my leg position. Let's take that right hand out to the side and your left hand can remain on the chair if you want or on your hip for now. Let's just bend and straighten the right knee. Remember your hips are 
or forward. Warrior two, nice strong pose. We're developing strong leg muscles. Strong midsection, strong core muscles, keeping everything in a line. You can continue flowing up and down, or you can hold this warrior two pose. Let's turn the palm down. And if you wanna extend that other arm out, you can. And now you can gaze towards, towards your right hand, right at your fingertips, holding that nice strong pose, but not your breath. We're breathing gently. Sink, continuing to sink through that right knee. Yes, it's a challenging pose and you might have already come out of the pose. You're welcome to at any time. As you practice more and you get used to these poses, you get stronger, maybe you can hold them a little bit longer. Let's bring the arms down, let's bring the legs back in. So your chair is still here. I want you to step back away from it and just do some hip circles with me. I have my imaginary chair here, okay? Yours is still there. I want you to do some hip circles. I moved mine just so that you can get a better view of what I'm doing. Oh, wonderful. So make sure your feet are wide enough and your knees are soft so you can move your hips. Try to keep the upper body still if you can so you really can focus on moving the hips nice and big. Like you have this hula hoop, but we're not going super fast. We're slow motion, hula dancing. Oh, move it the other direction. Reverse. Should feel good in your lower spine. Or at least you're you're feeling it. You're feeling that this is you're getting some movement here. You're relieving pressure there. I want you to tip just side to side. Try to push your hips out, push, push. It may not look as big of a movement, but I want you to feel it. That's the important part. So in yoga, mirrors aren't real important. It's more so of feeling the movement and looking inward. What does this look like for my hips right now? Where am I moving? What do I have to do to make that happen? Developing that connection with your body. Great. So we're going to move into warrior two on the other side. So again, you can use that chair to widen your feet as far as you can. And then we turn that left foot out this time. So we're doing the same pose on this side. And then left knee is going to point the same direction as that toe. Hips and shoulders remain forward as we bend and straighten. Ideally, we'll bend so that that knee stops right over the ankle and we straighten it out again. Arms extended right out from the shoulder with your palm up. Whenever we repeat a flowing motion or we hold a pose, just go back to thinking about your breath. Have a nice flowing breath with your movement. We feel this inner thigh right here getting a good stretch each time that you bend that knee. If you're not feeling it, maybe you can widen your legs and maybe you're a little warmer now, you can try that. The chair is there to help you get in and out of the pose. <laughs> All right, extending the other arm and we can hold that strong warrior two pose. Remember one hand could be on that chair right there. As we gaze out over our fingertips, Lower the shoulders, remain strong, and breathe. Find that focus and that peace in this pose as we just hold as long as you feel comfortable. If this is your first time doing it, this is probably long enough and you're already coming out of it, that's fine. Or if you haven't done it for a while, 
If you've kept up your yoga practice, wonderful. And maybe you're still holding the pose. Maybe. Oh, enough. Bring the arms down, bring the legs back together. All right, I'll replace my chair where it's supposed to be. And I think we need a break. So sit down with me, come to the front of your chair. If you haven't got a sip of water in a while, maybe that's something you need or want right now. Sit on the edge of your chair, we're not done. There's more that we can do seated here for a bit to bring down the heart rate, bring down the temperature while we remain seated and we can stretch here. So let's do some cat and cow. Notice my ankles are right under my knees. You stay there. You do not need to move your chair at all in this class. Cat stretch. We round back. Oh, that feels great right now. And cow, we push the chest forward and pull the shoulders back. If you can even tilt your pelvis as we do this, think about utilizing your entire spine if you can, all the way from your neck down to your tailbone to get that curvature in your spine, to wake it up again, moving forward and back. Ideally, we'll take that long, full breath as we open the chest, and we'll exhale long and slow as we go back into that calf stretch. Notice how I'm at the edge of my chair. If you're too far back, you can't get the full movement. So scooch a little further forward if you need to. Use your shoulders. Pull them forward and cat stretch. Pull them back to open your chest and cow. And you should practice every day. Feel your abdominal muscles kick in. If they're not, make them work in that cat stretch. Pull them in to push back on your lower spine. And then as we push forward, we're going to stretch in those abdominals and then we contract as we go back. Wonderful. Sitting up tall. Forward with you. I'm with you. Let's do a neck stretch. It's a little bit of a break. Take your chin down to your chest. I want you to gently roll your right ear down to your right shoulder and then bring it back to your chest. Left ear to left shoulder. Let's go again slow. Travel across. Hold it here for a moment, keeping your shoulders down, and then the other side. Back to center, and then lift to a neutral position. Good. Let's rotate the wrists around. Haven't used those hands much. Both directions. Do to open your fingers and close into tight fists. Open and close. Relax your shoulders, relax your facial muscles. Not doing anything but utilizing those muscles in your wrists and hands. Open and squeeze. This is all it takes to keep that grip strength. It just a little bit of usage. Might hurt, might be painful. Try a little bit, you know when to stop. All right, relax those hands down. Hmm. Wonderful. I want to work on one balance pose, a standing balance pose where we stay still. No movement. Traditional yoga style. Come on up with me. We will have our chair there for support to help us out. We're gonna do a standing twist. I want you to watch me first because you're gonna end up facing the side and I want you to have full balance and control. So don't come with me yet, but it's gonna look like this and looking over my back shoulder. This hand probably will remain on the chair, but if you can reach it back with your gaze, 
fine, great, wonderful. That makes it more difficult. But let's get into this pose and it'll look different for us all, that's okay. And I always remind you that. We all start somewhere, we, we build upon it. All right, so all your weight is in your right leg. So it's actually the leg closest to the chair that is lifting forward and it doesn't have to lift high, maybe your toe is still touching the floor even. Higher if you're, you're feeling uh, very balanced, very confident. Taking your right hand to the outside of that thigh, starting this twist. Now we turn the shoulders towards the chair and your head goes along with it. And then you can continue that twist through your neck, looking over your back shoulder and just find your breath, breathe there. You're holding it as long as you feel like it's good for you. And if you're really advanced, then maybe your hand's leaving the chair and reaching back. And maybe just do that for a moment and you're like, yeah, that's great. I was advanced for a moment. <laughs> And set it down because this leg, oh, oh, both legs. Good, just pedal a little bit with your feet. All right, true yoga fashion when you just hold a pose with balance, control, and you're breathing, and that's what it's about. So let's go over here and give it our best standing twist over here. So situate your body weight on your left leg. Always move slowly into the position. And again, lifting this knee, it doesn't have to be high. Your foot might even remain on the floor with your knee forward. A little higher if you choose. Then we start the twist, place the hand on the outside of the thigh. As we turn the shoulders towards the chair, our head goes along. And even further to look over your back shoulder if you can. This is a, a challenging balance pose. So feel free to come down and reset, try again. Just breathe. Once again, if you feel the need to try to release that hand and reach for a moment, great. Feel good about that, but also feel good about putting your hand back to steady yourself. Awesome. Untwist, head, shoulders, put the leg down. Pedal a little bit. Good. That was the hard part. Come and take a seat. Okay, we can feel accomplished. We did that. I want you to sit back in your chair so you can take your feet off the ground and roll those ankles around. Uh, roll your wrists around. Get a little bit of movement here. Rest your feet on the floor, sitting up tall. We are not slouching, we're keeping our head up, chest open, sitting with good posture, but relaxing everything else. So relax the feet and hands, shoulders back. We'll do a little bit of a tension and release to really make sure everything's relaxed. Starting with, feel free to close your eyes. As long as you can hear me, I'll walk you through this to get into our final relaxation where we just get to sit for a minute and be at peace. Let's start down with our feet. I want you to, to clench your feet within your shoes, curl your toes in, just hold that tension in your feet for a moment. And then I want you to release and notice the difference, your feet totally relaxed. Let's move on to the legs. I want you to squeeze your glutes together and your inner thighs with a squeezing, finding that tension in your legs, all the way up to your rear, squeezing, and then relax. Ah, wonderful. I want you to feel your abdominals. I want you to pull them in. Find those muscles there. Squeeze them in. You're still breathing. And then I want you to relax back. Relax your midsection. Let's go on to the fists. Lift your hands off your lap. Squeeze your fists. Squeeze your shoulders inward too. Find all the 
muscles in your arms that you can. Clench them tight, holding, and then I want you to release. Opening up your hands and they relax down. I should do one shoulder roll, leaving your shoulders back and down. Relax. Using your facial muscles, I want you to clench in tight. Clench your jaw for a moment. Your eyes are squeezing shut. And then I want you to relax. Your eyes are closed or you're gazing down at the floor. Doing another scan through your body, knowing everything is relaxed while we sit here and just enjoy the moment. Relaxed breath, relaxed mind, relaxed body. If you find tension somewhere, think about it for a moment, release it, let it go. No movement. You're still and at peace. The only thing you notice is your soft breath the rhythm of your heartbeat. Maybe a little tingling sensation here or there in your muscles that we've just used. Feeling warm but nice. Feeling relaxed. Feeling positive, like you can take on anything today. Thank you for practicing chair yoga with me today. Feel free to repeat these, these videos. This is the third one. Repeat them as much as you want. I'll release a new one for you each week. Have a good week.